Hi, in this video I'd like to show you some basic connections about the MC644 the 6th of extension uh, board for VFD inverters an actual inverter and uh, an AC motor uh, as you can see I complete the loop by using the feedback uh, sensor for uh, feedback position for of the motor so I can make uh, the output go 180 degrees up and down uh, as uh, part of the leg of um, actuator uh, you know for six of uh, actuators that they have to go all the way you, you have the actuator that goes up and down attached on the end of the arm so um, I'll just start the game I put just one axis here now so I can see that I assign the acceleration to the motor so you can you'll see the accelerations okay All right. okay let's put the gear in Started. As you can see, the when uh, the set point is reached for its position, it goes to stop uh, position of the motor. That means that it's holding the motor to the last. Uh, stable position when it has no reference anymore. So if I reset, for example, you'll see that it stays on stop position. If I start the motor. So the connections I did uh, from the Sixth of uh, extension board, it's the analog signal, the ground, and of course the two direction ones that it's for uh, left and right. So you can instruct the inverter, you can instruct the inverter uh, to do the direction at the speed. Now, except that, I used the 24 volt uh, uh, power supply. Uh, also from Seo Euro Drive, like the motor, like the inverter. So it was all part of the same package. So um, you can see here uh, everything goes under the little uh, extension. That's extension for uh, CAN network. So I just use it to connect it to computer for uh, easy setup of the parameters instead of going through the control panel you can uh, set up parameters here the max rpm what kind of motor you have what mod anyway I'll go up there so everything is connected under it that's just an additional module uh, you can remove it uh, except that i needed to interface uh, enable stop switch that's uh, when you have it on the motor is active when you have it uh, off it doesn't respond to the signals from the computer or the directional speed signals here so you yeah, you can uh, actually, for safety reasons, you have you can have like six switches. That's for a photo lock switch, but you can use something that locks, then unlocks again. 
um, to turn on the uh, VFD signals after you power on uh, the computer at the AMC card right here I have it for for two axes let me change it for uh, six there you are. As you can see now, it doesn't respond because the switch is off. That's an extra safety switch you can have there. Uh, actually, it's necessary to have it. Without it, it doesn't activate the external signals. Right? Well, that's pretty much it. It's very easy to connect, just uh, four cables. Switch, external power supply for the 24 volts for the 6 of extension board, and uh, analog signal. That's it. All the rest parameters you can do it from here or set up the response time. Uh, you can set the ramp times up and down to very small values, I set it just to zero here, I don't want to have it ramped up and down I just uh, want to have direct fast commands um, that's the max uh, RPM uh, you, you want the motor to have output from uh, this motor is rated for 1300 RPM I set it like that, but it doesn't reach that fast this speed, it needs uh, time, but uh, it can reach faster uh, as soon as it starts rotating. So, uh, usually you set the max RPM to the RPM uh, rating of the output gearbox. Alright, oh, it's something else. This motor doesn't. Uh, occupy uh, don't draw so much current from your lines power lines I used simply category category 5 uh, LAN cable to power it um, let me see for example I'll start it you'll see the amps that the motor is drawing that's uh, zero that's 100 millibar 200 400 millibar it's not even one amp and the uh, <laughs> alright okay that's it for now thanks for watching